Hello everybody, it is Kiwi Gumdrop and today we're going to talk about unpopular songs that I love. <laughs> Meaning like, love. Like, I can rant about for a long period of time. I'm going to try and make this video 17 to 20 minutes. I know that's super long, but you can skip through. But it'd be nice if you stayed because I have opinions that I want to share and like not... And they're not, like, rude or anything. It's just talking about the groups, the songs, why I love them so much. Alright, let's get started. So the first one that I can rant about all day is Nine Muses, No Playboy. I don't understand why it's so unpopular. Like, people say, like, the worst debut ever, and, like, a bunch of terrible things. And I just, I don't agree. I think it's a really good song. The dance is nice. It's definitely not the worst vocals I've ever heard. And if you think about it, at that time that they were doing live performances, they didn't have the same technology as to be able to just put vocals in the background. And half the singers nowadays don't even sing on during live performances. They just sing the key points of the song and then the rest is just a backup track or like a track that plays the majority of the song or the chorus and stuff like that. They're not actually singing. But these girls, Nine Muses, sang and they danced and rapped. No backup, no nothing. They did it all completely live. That's not an easy thing to do. Second one we're gonna talk about today is, I wanna say it's like Chanesse, that's how I say it. Um, it's Say Say Say. Oh my gosh, this song is so sensual. It is so sensual. Um, I don't think it's, I didn't feel like it was very sexy, but also I'm from America where people like go on stage butt naked, so my perception of what's vulgar is a little broader than I guess how South Korea would see it. <laughs> um, but no, I think it's a great song. The girls are very talented. They're, they have very, like, soothing voices. And the song is just, the, the choreography alone is just amazing. Um, and I might just play, like, a little bit of a clip. I'm trying not to get copyrighted or anything. But, like, the intro... so hooked on a song for the from like the first 15 seconds I've never done that and the thing is it doesn't really seem like they're trying hard which plays into that concept now <laughs> we're gonna go into co-ed school um I don't I don't know if they were popular in Korea um, from the views on YouTube it isn't but with co-ed school I I chose the song too late because they don't even have an official music video. Like, the company doesn't have the music video on YouTube anymore. Like, this company, it feels like this company tried to just, like, erase the fact that this group even existed, which is really unfortunate because I thought they were awesome. We need more, we need more co-ed groups in K-pop. Um, with co-ed, too late, that's kind of an example of it. It doesn't stay the same throughout the whole time, but it's just so catchy. You have the group Five Dolls. Well, they ended up separating into Five Dolls and Speed, but at one time they were together, and it was maybe like 12 members or something crazy. Speaking of Speed, Speed is my another group. Speed, look at me now. Hey, stop. a bop and no one paid attention to it until they disbanded I don't know I don't know how to express my anger with this speed is amazing and they deserved all the love they could get because they are so talented they could dance they could rap they could sing they produced their own music they produced their own songs come on like they made their own they made their own music, they filmed their own music video, they came up with their own choreography, 
Look, they did everything themselves. Their company just, whatever, forgot about them and they tried their best. And it just got nothing. Like, no recognition. And I'm just... I'm still mad about it. Four years later, I'm still mad about it. <laughs> it's been a little less than four years, but still. Now, let's talk about some queens right now. Rainbow. If you don't know Rainbow, you need to go on to your YouTube search right there and search Rainbow. Like, skip my video and go search Rainbow because they are the sh they are the one, okay? They are that one, okay? <laughs> They're amazing. They have good songs. You probably know Rainbow. You just, you may not know the group, but you know one of their songs. Especially A. A is really popular. It's the one where they lift their shirts and go da 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 da. <laughs> That's Rainbow. Now, forget about all their title songs, forget about those, whatever. We need to talk about Bad Man Crying. That song touched my heart, and I don't even understand the lyrics. But I noticed it has no music video. I, I like couldn't find any lives of the performance, and it only has the dance practice that they uploaded onto their official account on YouTube. And I just don't understand why. I feel like that could have been a title track for like the winter because you know everybody loves slower songs in the winter. And so I feel like that really could have been one of their hits and it was just it's so good. Like just the first literally the first 10 seconds which I'm about to play. Guilt, guilt, crew, boy. You lay heart hush. I don't know how a person couldn't love a song that gets you that like into it because that's the whole thing about music like music makes you like it makes you feel and it makes you kind of like get out of the world that you're in right now and enter a new one that's what music can do so why wouldn't you like a song that snaps you into this other world Princesses, My B. The song I picked for My B was Do Dodo. I guess that's English. That's how I would pronounce it in the English pronunciation is Dodo. so much and I don't understand why they disbanded so soon like I seriously want to know why <laughs> okay now we're gonna talk about boys republic get down <laughs> I've been in K-pop long enough to know what an indefinite hiatus means. They're not just going to pop out of thin air in 2023. No. And if they do, they're not. That'll be, their hype will be gone by then. Boys Republic, they ain't coming back. I'm sorry. They're not coming back. On to the next. We're going to talk about What's Up Color TV. Okay. Let me get my popcorn. 
me on the turn me on Tell the color to be on Turn me on the turn me on This was a bop. And I don't care what nobody says. It was a bop. And they disbanded right after. Yeah, I know they got some hate because of their fir their debut song. They did lose some members, but when Color TV came out, I was like, oh, this is gonna hit. Like, this is gonna hit in Korea. Like, I thought What's Up Color TV would be as popular as EXID Lady was. And it just, it didn't compare. And I don't know why. Now we're going to talk about my favorite boys, road boys. <laughs> what happened to road boys? They freaking disappeared. <sighs> I'm so sad. But Be My Love was my song. so fresh and it wasn't like I'm sorry but I'm so freaking tired of boy groups having to have these dark themes like come on I'm tired of it it's 2019 give me something else and road boys gave me that in 2016 2017 and I was just ugh. anyway now we're gonna talk about Chine Tiny G! Oh my gosh, those three girls are talented! But the song I'm talking about that I liked that was unpopular was Ice Baby. The lyrics are really cute and they're really relatable. It's just about, you know, falling out of love with someone in the natural, in a, like a natural way. And that's why I liked it because it was just, I just felt like it was more relatable and it was something that different it wasn't a heartbreak it was just growing like like growth as a person and learning to just break ways and knowing when to break ways and also they dance with pillows like what's cuter than dancing with a freaking pillow it's a pillow it's so cute i don't know they were just little princesses and it was like something different than like the sassy girl vibe that they were doing and they should have not disbanded. Fia Star's Vista is my favorite song. And I feel like for a debut song, that is the best. It is the best debut song I've ever seen. It is so sassy. It is so jazzy. It is so catchy. <laughs> dance is nice, the singing is nice, the music video is amazing, the hook is great, the chorus is great, the intro is great, the ending is great, every single, like, you can break that song down into 20 different pieces and every single piece you're gonna enjoy. Every single piece, there's always a good moment each little section of the song. And I just, I can't help but love Fiesta one that is on the list is Bestie Ha Baby. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Bestie is one of my favorite groups. I love every single one of their songs. There's not one song that I do not like. the first
first few seconds of the song, right? And someone's already pulling out vocals, and someone's already doing body rolls. Why did they disband? Why? I miss them a lot. About this one just irritated me. <laughs> Obliss. If you don't know Obliss, then you didn't live. You didn't live. Because Obliss gave me life. And they only had one freaking song. They didn't deserve that. <laughs> from an undergraded girl group who is not from a popular company and what happens flatline everybody gone we don't know we don't know where all the crazy fans are because they're gone this song was amazing and i'm gonna show you my favorite part because there again i'm trying to keep this short but like these groups deserve more attention than i can even give them <laughs> A masterpiece! But no, everybody wants to like the groups that are in the rich company. Everybody loves those, but they don't love Obliss, and so Obliss disbanded. Scarlet, do better. This song. I, this, like, body roll thing that they do, and I'm going to show you, I think it is a freaking bop. Like, if AOA did something like this, I guarantee y'all would have been cool with it. If, if, what's her name? What's her name? Sohyun? If Sohyun was out here body rolling, you'd be okay with it. I know you would. I know you would. If Jimin came out here body rolling, you would be a-okay. Let me make that clear. I should like put it in a headline here, but I don't know how to do that yet. They are not a underrated group. The group I'm talking about is Big Bang. Now I know they're under every controversy in the book and YG is under a lot of fire right now. But we still have to appreciate that they had good music, okay? They came out with some good music. And it'll forever be a part of my K-pop journey. And I don't regret those songs being out. Now, their first song, their debut song, La La La, is a bop. I like, I like this, this side of Big Bang. Like, this is 90s. Like, it reminded me of 90s music, which, if you don't know me, 90s music will always make me happy. And it is always superior. It's what it is. Said what I said. Meant what I said. Anyway. But like, they go, they're like, moving, moving, moving. Yeah. Moving, moving, moving. my, who is one of my biases, his voice is so good. Tongue. 
터지도록 소리쳐봐 I'm embarrassing myself. Anyway, that's the song, and my list is done. I'm gonna have a part two and a part three to this video, and if you liked it, make sure to hit a like, comment down below if you knew any of these songs, if you know where any of the members of these groups are, um, if you know, like, have some updated information for me, make sure to let me know, tell me how you feel about the songs, just leave some comments down there, like and subscribe, and I will see you later. <laughs>